as you can see, it is a beautiful day. We are finally getting 70 degree weather here in Florida and it's sunny. Um, over the next couple of days, it's going to get up in the 80s. And that's a huge change from the last two weeks. The last two weeks, we was down in the 40s. Um, it, we even got below freezing that night, um, below 30. But I am happy that we're here. But guys, I got to share a lot of stuff with you guys that um, we realize being snowbirds. So snowbirds is not what you think it is. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different from that summer camping. And in this video, I'm going to explain that. Today, I'm a little excited. Um, I just got my packages in from e-trailer. They are, it's called the tire link. It actually works with my RV. My RV has like a, um, a one link that's installed on it. So with this one link, I can control my slides. I control my um, awnings. I can control my lighting. Tire link works with one link so i am looking forward to hooking this up today it was sent to me by e-trailer shout out to them because e-trailer reached out and sent us a lot of stuff that we actually needed for this rv all right and i'm going to share this stuff with you so guys i am about to get my morning walk on can you believe that I have already lost 15 pounds since I've been here? I get up every morning and walk at least three to four miles and I have lost a lot of weight. But let me show you guys what we have been experiencing since we've been here. A lot of things with this RV. This RV is like, this RV is about six months old. We had a lot of breakdowns, some, some problems it's self-inflicted i did myself but anyway check out my jack my jack is bent and this rv every time you take a step in this rv it's shaking and moving all right not just that even with the last rv that got destroyed we had issues with our black tank i got i got problems with my black tank guys and the reason why I got problems with my black tank, I can't, I cannot get the valve out. These valves on this are on these RVs, man, they they stick. I cannot get the black tank valve out. I had it out yesterday. Today, well, not today. Yesterday, I tried to get it out. I pushed it in and tried to pull it back out, and it's stuck. All right. Another issue I got. But really, with these issues, it, I, I am. A little excited because I, was, I have been so bored. All right, then that go back to the snowbird thing. My hinge, my little pump that goes here, is broken. Well, the screws came out. I gotta fix that. So I gotta fix that. I gotta fix. I gotta fix my leveling jacks. I gotta fix other things that are actually going wrong inside the camper as well. And that's why I'm excited because I get to do this stuff and it's warm enough to do this stuff and I get to do this stuff before the summer come in. But like I was saying about e-trailer, e-trailer asked me what did I need for this RV. They sent us out a leveling jack, a replacement. So I am so excited to put that on. Even Shanti had to put her little two cents in it. She wanted something. It's really actually more work for me. We got a brand new kitchen faucet from E-Trailer as well. All right, guys, E-Trailer have over 8,900 of hitches for trailers. They specializes in 
anything there one-stop shop when it comes to anything for an RV, whatever you want, whether, whether it comes to the leveling jacks, whether it comes to stairs, whether it comes to the tow hitch on the front, where it comes to the equalizer, if you need an equalizer for, or anything that you need for your RV. Awnings, oh, that's another thing. You need awnings for your RV, they sell that as well. All right, look at this. The back cap is missing as well. Spider webs has formed in there. When you sit these RVs on a lot for a while, you gotta take care of them. You they, they they start coming apart, but ours is only six months. We still we still have like a two-year warranty on it, I believe. Um, so a lot of this stuff gonna get fixed. If it's not by me. I'm taking it to the shop, General RV, they're gonna fix it. So I'm not really worried. But anyway, we gotta get out of here. We're so excited to get out of here this weekend because of the weather is nice again. We're looking forward to the next park we're going to visit. And we're gonna take you guys along. So guys, as I take my morning walk, I wanted to talk to you about this snowbird thing. Okay, it ain't what everybody think it is. It's, a, it's totally different. So when we first thought about, let's be snowbirds this year, let's go down to Florida. Cause it's, it, it, it's, gonna, be in, it's gonna be in the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s some days. Um, we can do summer all over again. That's our mind frame. So once we got down here, it was nice the first couple of weeks. Then it got cold, stayed cold for about two weeks. Now we're back into the better weather. It's, the, it's, it's in the 60s now, um, low 70s, it's sunny, which make it feel like it's 75. It feel good out here. Great weather now, but Here's the thing about the snowbirds. It is different. It's not it, it's not like your weekenders that come out that like to have fun, that hangs out and you know walk around the park once it get late, look at everybody rig. It's not like that. When it get dark here, everything dies. I mean, it just get dead. You don't see no fires. You don't you don't see people out walking. It's just dead. People that come to do the snowbird thing, they're actually coming to stay in a camper. They're not, they're not really campers. They're just down here to enjoy the warmer temperatures, which I understand. Now, that wasn't my mind frame. Shanti then brought her butt down here and she blends right in with them. She do the same thing, so don't tell her I'm saying this. She she fits right in. She act like she's at home. She don't do the, she don't come out. She don't go out for walks with me. She don't do nothing like that with me. So she fit right in. She do what she do home. I said, this snowbird things is easy to you, huh? I said, you fit right in. All she could do is laugh, guys. But anyway, I wanted to share that. Another thing I want to share is you get some friendly people, you get some people that don't like to speak. So the ones that don't like to speak, you can tell you can tell their mannerism when once you get close because they're turning head from you, they look the other way. You get some that do speak. So being that we've been camping so long, we know how to take the good with the bad. And really the ones the people that do speak, the friendly ones, I think they outweigh the ones that don't, that don't really care to, to, you know, speak or associate with you or have anything to do with you. You know, to each their own. Everybody camp, RV in, in a different way. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. But anyway, I'll tell you a little something about this park. It is a very nice park. It is a very nice 
beautiful part um i like it here i think some of the they they have golf here which what's so good about golf all ages can play golf anybody play golf everybody play golf old young whatever Other games here, I, I just think that they need a basketball hoop because they don't have a basketball hoop here. Um, that'll be nice for exercise. Um, and right now, there's no kids here. You don't really see kids, it's all snowbirds. And that, that's another thing, let me tell you this also. That's another thing. It don't matter, it, it's not just this park. Now, even though we haven't showed other parks on a video, we showed two other parks, but even though we haven't showed other parks on our video, we actually drove through some of these parks. And we, we, we observed some of these parks. And a lot of these parks is just like this one. All right? You got people here that's more seasonal, that's more snowbirds. Even on the weekend, when you go out here on the weekends, people still not coming out on the weekends because you got a lot of snowbirds down here you got your weekenders that are, that do come out that may that's actually mixed in but you got your snowbirds here that just here that's every park and it, this every park that we've been to i don't care how nice it is what how nice the resorts is it's people here that's actually just here to feel the warmth they're not out here to camp they're just down here to feel the warmth so that's what you have. And I wanted you to know that because we like to think of ourselves as a real channel. We don't want you to think like, oh, wow, what they're doing, we can go down there and run, run to Florida next year when it get cold here and, and live summer all over again. It's not that way, guys. It's not that way. It's, it really is what you make it. I got, I, I'm making the most of it because I'm learning golf. I'm learning golf. I'm getting out here. I'm dropping pounds left and right by walking every day, by getting out and still enjoying the weather. And, and, and my, my routine is I get up, I go walking. I talk to a couple of people that I see on the campground that actually um, know us, you know, I talk to them. I go back a little later. We go and hit some golf balls. Then nighttime, we eat, sleep. Next day, the, re the routine starts all over again. So that's what it's consisted of lately. All right, I just wanted to fill you in and let you know that. I don't want you to come down here, running down to the south with high expectation, thinking because uh other youtubers showing you they all out on the beach and doing all this stuff it's not like that it's not like that now some of you can go to the beach and camping is what you make it you can still live that lifestyle but everybody else is not going to be involved like that it's different All these sites, if you notice, no one is out. Beautiful weather. So anyway, just yesterday I was on my morning walk. I say more towards noon where it got a little warmer because the mornings have been in the 30s and temperatures steady rise throughout the day this couple came in big nice huge solitude matching truck everything like wow nice outfit so they stopped at like adventure bandits and i stopped and spoke to them they were real happy i ended up walking by their site they said we went full time because of you we get that a lot we are not full timers we actually both work 
Shanti and I. But a lot of people that we meet, they went full time because of us. That is great to hear. Wow. So anyway, hopefully I see this couple out and you can see, you can hear their story and see their rig. This is their beautiful rig. They're, they are not out right now. I don't think they're here, but I will be back to get their story. Thank you for coming on this walk with me. You actually just helped me exercise because I actually had someone to talk to as I walked. A lot of mornings I'm walking by myself. But anyway, I'm about to go back to this RV and I'm gonna question Ashanti about this snowbird lifestyle and what she think. All right, so I'm gonna tell you this. If she answers and says she like it, everything is great, that tells you right there that she fits right in. She she done already came in and adapted to the lifestyle. I haven't quite adapted myself because I still got that that weekend warrior in me. But Ashanti, I guarantee you she had adapted. But I'm gonna do my hardest to make her give us the pros and cons about this snowbird lifestyle. Let me tell you something funny. When I came back to talk to Ashanti, guess what? She was not dressed. Shanti is not dressed. I told you, when it comes to the snowbird lifestyle, she fits in good. Now, I gotta do all the cooking. It's up to me to do all the cooking because she gonna move at a snail's pace. She got, she didn't got all set in. Ashanti, did you take out the meat I'm going to cook today? I'm going to do the barbecuing and you can cook the sides. You are not going to burn up my meat. Why well, you got all the doors closed? Because I'm working. Uh-huh. Anyway. One thing I failed to do when I came down here, I did not bring tools. Craig got the big, he got the big uh, fifth wheel, so he comes prepared. He got everything. So Craig, I'm talking to everybody about the snowbird lifestyle. What do you think of it? What's your pros and cons about it? Well, you need shorts. <laughs> 72 degrees. 72 degrees. So what's the kind? You don't have to be in the cold. The cold is, that's the pro. Uh huh. How about the cons? You got any cons about it? What you, you like? I thought it was gonna be a little different. Anything? No, not really. Not really. Okay. So you like everything about it? Yeah, I love it. Okay. I don't right. want to be in the cold. But Craig also was a seasonal camper before too. You, how, how long was you a seasonal camper? Twenty years. Twenty years. So Craig can fit right in like a chameleon. So he, he adapted. So tell me, don't, don't, don't do is that. now. Uh, don't do that. Uh, You're pressing this know. down up in here. Uh oh. Can you put, can I press that down over here? What you got going on? Huh? Just yeah, just tearing us. up stuff, huh? Yeah. 
Well, actually, I told everybody that you did this. How did I Tore do that? Tore up the jack. How? You had to replace everything. I put it together. I spliced the wires in temporarily. Let's see if this thing's work. I'm gonna extend it. Check it out, it works. It's actually faster than the other one. E trailer power that would have got. <laughs> Let me take some of this pressure off. There we go. It works, guys. As you can see, the legs are down. We're going to have a steady camper tonight. It, no, it won't be no motion in the ocean tonight. <laughs> We are all done. Everything went back together perfectly. I want to thank E Trailer. Thank you so much for sending this out. Guys, if you need anything, this will be in the description link. If you need one of these, because you can't place one, just one arm. Now, that tire link. Guys, we got new merch. Look at all those shirts. Ashanti took them out the box because she wanted the, the kitty cat to have a box. She up here making a home for the cat. Like I said, this woman had became a real snowbird. She thinks she live here. But anyway, check out the new merch. We got the Adventure Bandit with the new logo. We got the black. We got the red. And for the women, we got the pink. And I'm pretty sure there's another color, but I got to look through. And these are going for sale. These two shirts to Craig for helping me out. He was such a big help. He came with the tools. He came with the know-how to help. And I appreciate that. The real, the real bandit is coming in. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, okay. They got something like what? Trey, what you got the camera for? I got the. I'm recording. I, but I do all the recording. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm the camera guy. You guys, he does not do all of the recording. Who she got a camera for? So, but anyway, I see the, I see the 360 going on in here. Yeah. You can see people from panoramic view. Yeah. Almost. All the way around. You You're can like, even go in the hallway. But but check this out, check this out, guys. They can go in the bathroom. Here and start they can go in the bathroom and sit on the toilet and watch you. What Look where the toilet is at. Wow! You have to close the door. You gotta close the door. <laughs> Carrie and Tom is actually full timers. So, what made you guys go to full time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess full time, it was been on our minds for years. Mm -hmm. We talked about it, we've been camping for 20 plus years. And, and uh, the TV. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. 20 plus years, and with the kids growing up, and now that they're grown, you know, we we're like, well, well, we'll do this one day. And then, uh, Things came a lot of, sooner than what we expected, and we decided, you know, it's time to sell everything down to the forks and spoons, and so we got rid of everything and so jumped in on full, you know, full bore on it. So how long have you been full time now? We just started in October. You're newbies, huh? Newbies, yes. yeah. So we're not wow. experts. <laughs> yeah, no we're means. not experts by no means. So, 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 how did you guys come to the conclusion? Okay, let's do it. It's time to do it now. 
the when market, did y'all know market, when it, when it was time to do it? The market. It was a market. Yeah. The market told us it was time. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so when so the when the house spoke went, to us, it was like I, she and I sat down and decided, you know, here it is. It's showing itself to us. You know, either now or never, it. huh? She was like, let's do it, and I was like, all right. And I was happen. scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're finally getting our food together after a long day. Ashanti, I have something to ask you. What's up? What do you think about being a snowbird? Do you like it? What you think? Do you got any pros? You got any cons about it? Pros is I get to enjoy summer days longer than normal. Mm hmm. And I get to see things. I get to explore. So, yeah, I love being a snowbird. Okay. What do you like about it? How about, what's the cons? Anything? The cons? Um, you're away from maybe your family and your friends for a little while. But, hey, you can always call them. I mm. just called to say. Is there any different from being a snowbird versus... um? Being a snowbird during the, during this time versus, I, I'm trying to frame this, guys. Is there any difference? I got to frame it right to see if I get the right answer. What do you think about being a snowbird versus um, camping in the summer? I get to camp in the winter. <laughs> Okay. That's the difference. Like, All right, let me try this again. Let me try this again. What you trying to get me to say? I'm not trying to get you to say nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to prove something. So it's no different from the summer, camping in the summer and just camping camp in the winter. Huh? You, you don't have to winterize. That's it? You're a camper. That's mm -hmm. that, that what you got to say? Mm -hmm. You don't have to winterize? Right. I'm asking you, is there any difference from camping in the winter versus the summer? As you notice, being a snowbird. There you have it, guys. I told you. I told you what her answer was going to be. And so, she going to have to find out when I edit the video what I actually talked to you guys about. I told you, Shanti. You... Blend, you like a chameleon. You go good being a snowbird. You did a good job. You blend in. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. I get, I get a longer <laughs> summer. What did I miss? You didn't miss a thing. Okay. Hey, you, you, you still doing what you usually do. What? Huh? Yep. You know what, y'all. But anyway. Help him. Anyway, help him. Guys, we, we, we got steak going on the grill. Yep. We got, we got corn. And all kind of mixed vegetables going on the grill. What is you eating over there? You sneaking and eating. And you dripping everywhere. That some, I don't know some about. Some gummy bears I made. That's Get back. Okay. And we got baked potatoes. So it's going to be that type of night. Steak mm -hmm. and baked potato night with some vegetables. Who's cooking? We both are. <laughs> we both are. No. But anyway, guys, <clears throat> it's late. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if if you're new to this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button because you're going to get the real when it comes to this channel. All right. And don't forget to ring the bell. Don't forget to ring that bell. One last thing, guys, before I close this out, the glamp out is going to be something to remember. We almost sold out. We're working on our very last almost section. Almost sold out? I, I, I don't want to call it sold out yet. I'm trying to get everybody a chance. It is sold out. Anyway, Shanti want to cut it off now. Yes. I'm trying to wait to the end of this month. Give people a chance that did, that wanted to book through the campground. So you got an opportunity. If you don't book after this month, we just cutting it off after because this month. Yes, this month got it. I said, well, after these this section is so. That's it. Done. That's it. 
But the good thing about it, guys, you will still be able to be like you at the glamp, the glamp out because we're going to record the whole event. You're yes. going to see everybody go. You're going to see everything that goes on. And we're going to do some live streaming. So yeah. you'll be able to catch some of the stuff that's going to take place. And, and the good thing about it, you're going to get to see who all mm -hmm. won something. Yes. Who all won all these special but prizes. But you have to be part of the glamp out. So you would have to have purchased the glamp out with us. Either or, through or, us or, or, through, or, the or park. through the park. But it has to be in our sections that yeah. design for the, for, glamp out. for the glamp out. Yeah. You can't go around. You can't show up. You can't, you know, buy tickets for it. It's you have to have a RV site. In the order Adventure Bandits. To be part of the Glamp Out. Anything else you'd like to say? I appreciate you guys. And also, you will start seeing the... Um, and on our YouTube, if you look down, we're, we're selling our t-shirts. It yes. will be up. Um, we got merch. We got plenty of merch. It but... Be it, but we get we, low, we get more we, yeah we get more merch also yeah so so what we're on the fence about I like to say rolling with the bandits or rolling shotgun you guys rolling shotgun with the bandits put that on the back I like saying rocking with the bandits yeah I I say I said that a couple of times or hashtag team bandits I like that too or even bandits out so guys if you like anything. To be on the back of the t-shirt whatever saying that you think is best to go on the top, back of the t-shirt put it down in the description box yes and these t-shirts going to be a hot commodity because they're adventure bandits t-shirts yes. so you got to get one support your bandits because we don't we don't we don't like coming on here we don't really ask anybody for anything uh these parks that we go to they come out of our own pockets but we like to go to these parks to show you these parks yeah and, and we don't you our honest and, opinion and we don't make parks. our vlogs about us we make yeah. it about where we're going because we like to show people the the, the great the, people we meet yes and, and yeah. the things that you can do out here these yeah. parks that you can visit that there's very nice yeah so so on to the next adventure you guys can't yeah. wait to show you guys the next part that we're going to we are excited yep yep and that's another thing we were thinking about getting off this campground because i want to go somewhere else we got to go to another park so yeah, getting off this so. campground and going somewhere else but being that it have been cold the last couple of weeks we didn't want to just waste our money and go to these go to another park where we couldn't take advantage of all the amenities yep. so we're going to be bringing you more parks here in florida here in warm florida is warm again and guys, on that note, Bandits out.